How do you do, everybody? The New Trevians take on South Elgin Storm in the super sectional game from Boomer Stadium in Schaumburg. Well, the super sectionals, the North Suburban super sectionals, it's New Trier versus South Elgin, and in the other super sectional from the North Suburbs, it's Mundelein versus Crystal Lake South. And the winner of the New Trier South Elgin game advances to the state semifinals and guaranteed a medal and faces the winner of the Mundelein Crystal Lake South game. And uh, the winner of that game will play for the state championship. And the loser will play for third place. And Brian Thiel leads it off for the Storm. First pitch from Tom Nugent's high of all. Ball one and we're underway. The super sectional. Or if you prefer the state quarterfinals on ground ball. The pickup over the first in time. One up, one down. Here's Nate Gomez. New Trier accomplishing something that only has happened once before in school history, baseball-wise. They have made it to the quarterfinals in back-to-back -back years. The only other time was the 99-2000 group that finished second in state in 99 and one state 2000. Nutrier made it to the quarterfinals last year, only to lose to St. Charles North. A little ground ball. Short stop, the first in time. Two up, two down. And Kevin Berry, number three hitter in the South Elgin Storm. A little bunt attempt. And he's going to beat it out in a little infield single. Adam Walker, the batter. And Nutru trying to go to the medal round this year, having lost out by just one out last year. Now the first runner back. Tom Nugent on the mound. He's had a spectacular year pitching. Had a couple of one hitters, including the one against Evanston in the sectional semifinal. And that one was broken up in the top of the seventh inning. The Walker bats on the first. And Barry back. We've got to shoot through the netting. And the ball gets away and over the second goes Kevin Berry on the pass ball. And foul ball. Off to the right out of the ballpark here. Little ground ball fall. Outside of third. Side of ball. Ground ball. Second baseman over to first. And we are done with the top half of the first inning. 
for South Elgin. No runs, a hit. And a man left. We'll go to the bottom half of the first, and Eric Nicholas leads it off. Eric Nicholas, Matt Can, and Kevin Donahue do up for the Treviants. Strike on the outside corner, strike one. Well, owing to IHSA rules, uh, broadcasting rights rules, this is the last game of the season on our network. Even if the Trevians make it down to the medal round outside of ball. The IHSA takes over the rights, the broadcast rights. Down at the stadium, foul ball. Down at Joliet. Swing and a miss, strike three, and Eric Nicholas out. Here's Matt Cam. So Matt can bats. So I'm going to bet straight. And the pitch. Strike on the outside corner. Yeah, fly ball out towards center. Center fielder over and has it. Dylan Wells on the mound for the South Elgin Storm. Pitches high a ball to Kevin Donahue. Two out, nobody on. This is the time of the year where You don't get breaks like a lot of walks and things like that. You get walks, but like only two or three. Luther hit games where there were six, seven, and eight in a game. Strike on the outside corner. The pyramid gets smaller towards the top. And what frequently happens is the team that wins is the team that gets over the Monarch Butterflies first. High pop-up ball, and that's going to be out of play back here by us. Swing and a miss, strike three. And the Trevians go quietly at the first. At the end of one. No score between South Elgin and New Trier, And we'll be back with more. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Granted convention for teenage drinking is never acceptable. A message into public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the second inning. Cameron Cavenda leaning it off for South Elgin. Nutrier trying to accomplish something. Only happened four times previously. And that is get to the metal route. Only four times previously in school history. Inside a ball. This game will decide it. Whether they get a medal this year. If they do, 
it will be the sixth medal in this spring semester, uh, spring sports season for the high school. High and outside of ball. And fly ball. And it's going to be Matt Ken that takes it for the out. One away. Here's Nathan Smith. Patrick Keedy on deck for the storm. Nugent delivers a strike on the inside corner. When you play in these larger stadiums, you pretty much play straight away on everything. And a nice reach out by Nugent. Over to Calarco for the out. Quickly, two up, two down. Here's Patrick Keating. And a ball inside, ball one. Nice grab ball deep in the hole. Long throw on the tag. They got him. And we're down with the top half of the second. South Elgin and Nutrier no score in the super sectional quarterfinals. Here's Dylan Horvitz. Swing and a miss. Strike. Light shot foul. We're in Schomburg. Like Nutrier playing their regional and sectional on the same site. The Storm played their sectional and the super sectional on the same site. Here at Boomer Stadium. Little comebacker and the out. One up, one down. Cam Redding, the batter. Cam's had a hot bat during the playoffs. Pitch a little outside of all. Second inning. That side of ball. And strike. Well outside the ball. They're ready. And a line shot. That's a base hit. The left field. The lead and a single with one out. And Anthony Clarko, the batter. Big Trevian first baseman. And the ball gets away, and Redding going to go over to second. Whoopsie. Gets a little razzing from the South Elgin faithful. 
Obviously, South Elgin uh, practically walking distance from this stadium. Pitch is high and outside of all. And low and inside a ball. And a blast. Back it goes. Back, 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 and out of here. A home run for Anthony Galarco. And that is the first home run for a new Trier player in the quarterfinals, semifinals, or finals in new Trier history. A blast by Calarco. Wow. Did he get a hold of that one? At the letters, and he took all of it and got it out of here. Here's Sean Dewar. That's a, as I said, that's the first home run in the quarter semi or state championship game. Uh, New Church made it to the quarterfinals a number of times, but Nobody else has ever hit a home run. Going outside of all. I want to say it's been Nutrier's made it to the quarterfinals about ten times now. I'd have to be a little more specific and a little have to look it up. I know it's at least nine. Ball ball. And Clarko being the first that ever hit a home run. And Break three. And Sean DeWare out. That's two away. And Nate Shapiro. Number 12. The batter. And first pitch hitting ground ball. Shortstop has it. Over the first on the tag. They got him. Amardell in the second, off the blast by Calarco. It's New Trier two, and South Elgin nothing, and we'll be back with more. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Buzz driving is drunk driving. A message into public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the third inning. Zachary Saunders letting it off. Nugent delivers. Foul ball back. Well, it's a little bit chilly today, so the South Elgin crew gets a little bit of a break being able to sit out in the sun. We've got a CNL working cooler near the lake even though we're maybe 15 miles from the lake but the strong northeast breeze and that makes that home run in the bottom of the second by Calarco all the more remarkable 
He hit that blast into about a 25, 30 mile an hour wind. Ball a little outside. And he got all of that thing too. Plus with these minor league ballparks, there's a big fence too. Has a fly ball out to right field and Kane has it for the out. Here is Austin Doughty. Number nine, the batting order for the Storm. There's a strike. And the ball, South Elgin. The town used to be called Clintonville. That's the ball. And outside the ball. Number nine, batting order for the Storm. Tom Nugent on the mound. Hey, Max, Max. And here's the strike. The camera. Top of the third inning. And a little ground ball, short style. Donahue over to Calarco for the out. Two up, two down, and Bryant Deal the batter. High and outside a ball. Scooped at, down the line. And foul, and Cam was watching the ball and wasn't watching where the fence was. And a line shot, and up over the head of Cam. He misjudged that a little bit. And Deal on his way to third, and he'll stop there. A triple. For Bryant Dale up over the head of Matt Can. You might even call that a sun blown triple. So two out, runner at third, and Nate Gomez the batter. And a ball. Second hit of the ball game for the Storm. And a pitch tie and tie the ball. And a strike on the outside corner. ball right to Donahue. A couple of bounces over to Calerco for the out. And we go to the bottom half of the second. New Church Trevian is leading at 2 nothing. And Peyton Birch number 9 in the batting order are going to lead it off for the Trevians. And fall the way. Nine, one, and two scheduled for the Trevians. Facing Dylan Wells from South Elgin. And 
And the pitch high a ball. Well, win or lose, this is our final game of the season. The high school season, we go on and do summer ball for the Wilmette Waves. But our high school season for 2016-17 will come to the end with this game. And outside the ball. So while we have this opportunity, I uh, want to thank all our network affiliates. And particularly our Nutri Television affiliates. Affiliate. That's the ball. Hi. And we're already putting together our fall schedule. <gasps> There's a bunt fall. Caught uh, Nicholas on the foot. Matt Can on deck. Here's the strike on the outside corner. Another one high and tight. Shave and a haircut two bits. Going bunt. Ball to first. Birch back. Again, throw over there, and again, Birch is back in plenty of time. And a little ground ball. Throw to second and threw it away. And everybody safe. Score that fielder's choice error. So two aboard. And nobody out for the Treviants. And Matt Cam the batter. And Time Calder are going to discuss this a little bit. You talk too much. You worry me to death. Now we're set. Can shows butt. And a great piece of hitting. Base hit, single to right. Boy, that second baseman. Came charging in. On the bunt. And left the. Left that whole uh, right side of the infield open. As the first baseman had to. Hold Nicholas over there. And can just. Blasted it right through. So the bases are loaded for Trebs. And Kevin Donahue, the batter. And a foul ball. Down the line. Last time that new trier went to the medal round, they won state. It was eight years ago, 2009. In 2007, they finished second in state. Infield pulled in, like if we're a play at the plate. And fouled away.
And inside a ball. Donahue thought he got hit. But the umpire wasn't biting. And the pitch high a ball. Well, no place to put Donahue, number three batter in the Trevian lineup. Birch at third, Nicholas at second, Can at first. Wells into the wind, the pitch on the way, and a fly ball. Deep to left, left fielder drifting over. Going to do the job and bring home another run on the sacrifice fly. And Nutra leads three to nothing. Here's Dylan Horvitz. Swing and a miss, strike. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Uh, one of the problems of playing where we have to set up is we're in the crowd, so everybody who knows us stops trying to say hello. It's kind of tough while you're trying to do your work. Foul ball bunt attempt. A little bit of a suicide squeeze, actually. No, it would not have been a suicide squeeze. Runner is not a third. Now the pitch and yeah, fouled off by Dylan Horvitz. It's always tough about this time of the year too is that you know generally speaking it's the last time you can see the seniors. When their season's over they're gone outside of ball. Nutrier's already had their graduation. Outside of ball. Well, even to get to this point, there are only eight teams left playing. And you're one of the eight. I think that's a pretty good accomplishment in and of itself. Ball ball. Out of play. Considering there are over a thousand high schools in the state, and yeah, there are four classes of baseball, but here you are one of 32 teams, only 32 high schools that have. made it to this stage of the season in the four classes. I know New Trier off that freaky loss last year to St. Charles North wants to do better this year. Strike three. And Horvitz is out. Here's Cam Redding. He's singled and Came home on the blast by Calarco. His last time up. Batting here in the third. And a pitch high ball. And 
Nicholas at second, Can at first. Two out. And strike on the outside corner. Another thing about playoff games is that the strike zone sometimes changes. Although it's certainly better this year, it appears. There's a blast. That's a base hit. That's going to score a run. A single for Eric, for Cam Redding and Eric Nicholas on the score. Another two run inning here. And Redding has an RBI of his own. Here's Calerco. New pitcher on the mound, and Calerco switches around and bats right handed. He popped one out of here. About a 360 foot blast his last time up. Batting left handed. Strike. The two out, two more runs in. Unearned by the air. And second on uh, Nicholas. Ground ball. Ball ball. Teams that win here get over the Monarch Butterflies quickly. There's a ball ball. And sometimes you get them early. And sometimes you get them late. Round ball, fall. Big powerful first baseman takes a pitch high ball. New pitcher is Nick Guzzo. Down the line fall. He is listed as five foot six and two hundred and thirty-five pounds. Left hander, obviously. Delivery on the way. And a little ground ball. Second baseman bobbled it. Still got over the first in time for the out in the inning. So at the end of three, it's New Trier four at South Elgin nothing. And we'll be back with more. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Cheer for your team, not against your opponent. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the fourth inning, and the New Trier Trevians now leading this one four to nothing. Kevin Berry. Laning it off. Yeah, ground ball. And whoa, Calarco had a little trouble with it. Nugent over to cover. At first, and 3 1 on the put out. One up, one down. Here's Adam Walker. Number 23. So Adam Walker bats for the South Elgin squad. Takes a ball, ball what? I think, I was looking somewhere else. Outside of ball. Yeah, he did take a ball. Two it two it out. And he's hit by the pitch. And Walker aboard. And Cameron Covenda, the batter. 
courtesy runner for Walker. Jack Stenzel is the courtesy runner over there. Outside the ball. He gets away from Harvitz, but Stenzel was not going. hit single for Cameron Covenda. Stancil will stop at second. Nathan Smith, the batter. Inside a ball. Two on. One out. And a strike. And the count goes blackjack. <laughs> 21. Not on the count. They look around the pitch. Low and outside the ball. Throw out the second. And the ball got away, but. Stanzel was only concerned about getting back to second. Yeah, strike on the outside corner. He thought he had a walk out of that. One thing about the playoffs, the strike zones do change. Although they've been a little more tight this year than in the previous years. No pitch. I've called. I tried to say that earlier, but Cam Redding got a single in there and I <laughs> didn't get a chance to finish my thought. Swing and a miss. Strike three. There goes the runner, and they threw it away. It's going to be an error. And the run home. Stolen base for Stansel, and then the error. On the play over to second went Govenda. There was some question about batter interference. Because that batter, once he struck out, walked right in front of Horvitz. But the umpire said no. He had a clear shot at throwing. Outside the ball. Patrick Kitty, the batter. Line shot right at Donahue for the out. So we're done with the top half of the frame. Halfway home with the ball game. And Nutra leading this one four to one. Sean Dewar leading it off for Nutra. And a little foul off. Nick Guzzo on in relief for South Elgin. Uh, 
High and outside the ball. Well, New Trier with the four state trophies this year in various sports. Continue a record that over 70 years long, 75 years long now. Outside of ball. Since 1942, New Trier has won at least one state trophy in some sport. Every single sports season but one. Ball four. And where? Leads off the inning with a walk. Here's Nate Shapiro. So that's over 200 and There'll be 224 straight semesters or sports seasons. And Nutri has won a trophy in something. Ball ball. And you don't count in that the non-IHSA sports. I'm not counting any of the non-IHSA sports that Nutria has in that. We're talking only the Illinois High School Association sponsored sports. And Shapiro calls time. He got met, messed up a little bit on the sides. Coach Napoleon goes to punt, punts it foul. We're here in Boomer Stadium, Schaumburg. One of the several minor league ballparks around the Chicago area. Going to get another one. Another one under construction. Ball ball. Over in Rosemont. There's one in Crestwood. Gary Crestwood. Joliet. Geneva. And here in Schaumburg. Go to first and Dwyer back. Nate Shapiro batting. And a blast fly ball. Left fielder on his giddy up. Reaches up over the shoulder. Nice catch. And Dwyer back to first. Here's Will McNulty. Again for Peyton Burke. Second event strike. And another new pitcher on the mound. Adam Walker. That's why they ran for him in the top of the inning. There's a strike. They could go down and start warming up. Strike three. And Will McNulty out. Back to the top of the batting order. Nicholas. Walker's listed as a 6'2", 185-pound senior. Goes to bunt. Bunts and falls. Well, we hope you've enjoyed our broadcast season this year. Wherever you may have been on the network line. And we want to thank our 
all our affiliates. There are a lot of people behind the scene here at the network. And fall ball. Bottom of the fourth inning. These playoff games always seem to drag a little bit. A little more strategizing going on. And strike three. And we're done with the fourth. At the end of four, it's New Trier four and South Elgin one in the state quarterfinal super sectional game. We'll be back with more. You are watching the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Parents who host lose the most. Don't be a party to today's drinking. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Now we move along top of the fifth inning. Benjamin Banks. Then a bat. Manning facing Nugent, takes a pitch outside the ball. Nugent scattered three hits today. And strike on the inside corner. Well outside of all. And a high pop-up on the infield. And called for and taken for the out by Birch. One up, one down. Here's Austin Doughty. High ball and outside. And that one misses the ball. Well outside. And a strike. My fly ball. Battling the sun a little bit. And Kane uh, can able to get over there for the out. Two up, two down. And Bryant. Deal, top of the batting order. So can may had a little bit of sunfield issue. Ball ball up on the berm. And pitch high ball. Shadows starting to play a little bit as the sun. Starts heading down in the late, after, uh, late afternoon. Ground ball. Donahue to Clarko for the out. And we're done with the top of the fifth inning. And it. Nutrier four and South Elgin one. Matt Can, the batter. Look at a bit strike. Another one 
fall off. And most of the Nutrier seniors playing in the state tournament like this is their last hurrah. Want to go out on a high note, win a medal. Ball ball. Particularly after they came so close last year. Swing and a miss. Strike three. One away. Here's Kevin Nadiu. Kevin officially 0 for 1. Today, strike. He did have a sacrifice fly that brought home a run. Bat back in the third, batting here in the fifth. Pitch low ball. And high ball. Another one. High ball. And fall off. Down the right field line. And up on the berm. And ground ball. Two for the base hit. To left field. A single by Donahue. And here is Dylan Horvitz. Side of ball. Swung through it. The Horvitz bats. Donnie Hewitt first, one out. Fifth inning. We do have two umpire or three umpires today. Two on the field, one behind the plate. And that's the same way we'll be from here on out. There's a base hit to right for Horvitz, and Donahue stops at second. And courtesy runner. Francis Fay is the courtesy runner for the catcher Horvitz. So two on, one out, and Cam Redding, the batter, he's two for two on the day. Scored a run and RBI single. And strike.
They look around the pitch. That side of all. Walker looks around. And the delivery. Ball ball. Oh, Redding hanging in there. Redding a junior. And another high fly ball foul. Up on the grass over on right field. Cam Redding. The Trevian designated hitter today. Falls another one off. And ground ball. Right to the shortstop. Steps on the bag over the first. The double play ends the inning. We're down with five. In the state quarterfinal, super sectional, New Trier leading it 4-1. to one. We'll be back. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Drive now, text later. A message into public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Moving along, top of the sixth inning. And Nate Gomez leads it off. Over to first. One three on the put out. And Gomez gone. And here's Kevin Berry. And fly ball. That's going to be a gapper out there in right center. And Kevin Berry in with a double. Here is Adam Walker. And straight. Swing it a bit. Straight. Getting a light in the ball game. Nerves and emotions begin to pick up. Outside the ball. I think the Trevians were really looking to get a rematch against St. Charles North. Ground ball, Shapiro over to the first out. Back over to third and not in time. So two out, runner at third. And Cameron Covenda, the batter. New Trier last year lost to St. Charles North, so they wanted their revenge. But this year's been a very strange year in, in all the sectionals. Out of all these sectionals, <laughs> that are, you know, that, that were around in, in the, the regionals, there are only 
two number one seeds left in, in the whole state. And those two number one seeds are uh, New Trier and St. Lawrence. Everybody else that was number one seed are all gone. Ball four. And Cavenda aboard by the walk. Here's Nathan Smith. And he takes the ball. The runners at the corner for the South Elgin Storm. This has been a very strange year. Here's the strike. Well, in the new Trier sectional, going into that sectional, it was one, four, six, and 14 were the 14. The ranking, which only goes to show you that the seeding means nothing. You still got to play the game. The number two seed went out in the regional semifinal, very first game. And the ball, kind of similar to what happened to New Trier in 2008. They had only lost two games all season long and didn't make it out of the regional. Having finished second in state the year before, and one state the year after. And yet they went out in the regional. Demolished a team. 36 to 1 or something like that. Just totally demolished them that year. And then second game, they maybe were looking a little past everybody. Those things do happen. Nugent delivers. Ball four. And the bases are loaded. So the tying run on base. Two out. And new pitcher. In. Sean Dwyer. Yeah, strike, strike one. So Dwyer on in relief. Bases are loaded. Two out. Top of the sixth inning. Swing and a miss. Strike. And a full of foul ball. Dylan Horvitz hoping for a four shot on that one. Not knowing that it did. Hit the batter, Patrick Keating. In the foot. Or any, in any case, hit him in the batter's box. Now the pitch, balled off. They used to have a scoreboard here, like Wrigley Field, hand operated. Get away with that. Swing and a miss, strike three, and the Trevians get out of the jam. In the inning, no runs, one hit, two walks, three left. We go to the bottom half of the sixth. And the Trevians hold on to a 4-1 lead. And Anthony Calerco leading it off for New Trier. And if they try it outside a ball. The 
in there for a strike. Hot shot foul. So Calarco, Dewar, and Shapiro do it. Here in the bottom of the six for a new trier. Now the lock and load, and another one fall off. Strike three. And one away. Here's Sean Dwyer. Number 17, Sean Dwyer. So Dwyer, now the pitcher for the Trevians. Kyle Capone's come in to play left field when Dwyer came in to the mound. It's a low ball. And fall away. We're in our 27th season. High school sport, fly ball. At New Trier. 31st year doing television broadcast. Side of ball. And another one falls off. This is Nate Shapiro. And Dewar has flown out to right. Two out. Shapiro bats. Number eight in the batting order. That's the problem when you have only one set of eyes. Well, the Trevians are going to go to the seventh inning, leading this at least by three runs. And ball four. So Shapiro draws the walk. And here is Peyton Birch. Outside a ball. And low ball. And a little discussion. <laughs> Bottom of the sixth inning. And a strike.
Good crowd on hand. Always is for playoffs. And another one fall off. But with that chilly wind, and it is blowing a gale. Everybody's sitting over in the sun. At least the South Elgin crew gets the advantage of that. Outside of all. Ground ball. Third baseman has it. Over to first, and we go to the seventh with the new trader Trevians leading South Elgin by the score of four to one. And we'll be back with more here on the network. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Be supportive, not intrusive. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Well, we go to the seventh inning, and the Monarch Butterflies flying around here. And the strike, strike one. Benjamin Banks, the batter. And swing and a miss, strike. Outside of all. Take that back. Yes, it is Benjamin Banks. And strike three. So one away. And here's Austin Doughty. He takes a pitch outside the ball. And straight. And I got a little piece of it. Didn't miss by much. A little inside a ball. Where delivers. Ball lock. And high a ball. Baseball action here on the network. Playoffs, ground ball, and a whoopsie. And he's safe at first on the air. So runner at first with one out. And Bryant Deal, the batter. Lead off batter, he tripled way back in the second. Facing the wear for the first time, there's a strike. We're gonna win strike. Swing and a miss, strike three. And two away, here's Nate Gomez. They're trying outside the ball. He 
in there for a strike. Well, any fly ball today is going to be an adventure. Plus, hit to center or right, you've got the sun in the way. There's a fly ball out towards center. And whoa, Nicholas had a little trouble with it, can't get it. Another error. So, two on, uh, make a run home. As Dowdy home the score on that one. He's off with the pitch with two out. Here's Kevin Berry. And it is a 4-2 ball game. Two errors here in the seventh. And the butterflies are flying around today. Right down the line, that's a fair ball. And can comes up with it. Another run home, and it's a 4-3 ball game. Two out, Adam Walker, the batter. The tying run and scoring position. There's a strike. Now we're getting a repeat of last year. A very intense, nervous. A little pop-up. Oh, my. Great catch, and the ball game's over. Well, the wind and everything else and a little misjudgment. But the Trevians are victorious and are going to the battle round. The new Trayer Trevians with the victory. Advance, win the super sectional and will play for a medal. Only the fifth time in school history that new Trayer will play for a medal. With the big victory here today. So the new Trier Trevians win the Super Sectional. The quarterfinals and advance to the Final Four play in the semifinal. Down at Joliet with this victory today. And a, and a very trying, exciting uh, seventh inning. South Elgin coming back thanks to uh, a couple of miscues. Final word on this ball game. For the new Trier Trevians, four runs on six hits, three errors, two of them in the seventh. The Trevians were struck out eight times. They were walked three, and new Trier left five on base. For South Elgin, three runs on five hits, one error. They were struck out four times. They were walked twice. Seven left on base for the South Elgin Storm and two stolen bases. So that'll do it for us for this ball game and for our baseball season uh, and our 2016-17 high school season. We will have summer baseball here on the network. The new Trier Trevians advance to the state semifinals and are guaranteed a medal. New Trier will play Crystal Lake South in the semifinals, and the winner of that game will play for the state championship. So that'll do it for us for this game. I hope you enjoyed the broadcast. I hope you enjoyed the broadcast all season long. And as always, we say thanks for watching, and so long, everybody.